Top of the morning, my fellow PVs and DIYers. Uh, yes, it is the morning. I don't waste my time on sleeping when copters need to be built. Right, so back to business. Uh, yes, probably saw my video. It's the video before this um, on my Stormtrooper racer racer quad. So basically, just for maiden and this and that, uh, just a DVR recording. It's not gonna not gonna look that good I think like it, it needs to be the outside point of view so <clears throat> build a sky crane system for Mobius uh, so in the video I had a run cam HD on and at the end I had a big ball to balance because it has to be it has to be balanced so uh, anyway by the by the request there's an interest in the system well, what am i doing here so basically i got a swash plate from the 500 heli 500 smash heli uh lightened uh, and put it on together simply because it has a big it has a big bearing that will that will leave less of a less of a play before that i used uh, before that i used uh, a motor dead motor brushless motor check out the link before that was my version one uh the one that was freely swinging that was version two so i'd say this is the version three when i decided to do the go with the servo this is the modified servo i don't know what kind of a servo is it is it was just dead and then kind of managed managed to work to swing freely only only one direction so rebuild the pulleys on a servo pulleys and decided to go through the rubber rather than rather than any belts or this and that because uh, in event of a crash well eventually i will crash it will just it will just slip uh, it will just slip around basically it's not going to be remotely controlled it's going to be it's going to be i'm just going to i'm just going to set it up switch it on and and then and let and let it swing now I don't know what's the ratio between there and there. Just kind of was shooting from the hip, so to speak. But it looks like it looks like it works. So I'll have my little battery. There's a underneath in the uh, voltage voltage regulator that gives me five volt for the servo. Also, my Mobius is shredded. It's only it's under under twenty grams. Battery batteries out. And it will be powered from uh, one cell one cell over the battery so when it was freeing uh, when it was swinging freely right i noticed the some 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 issues that was going on like if you check the video before that uh, the first issue was the air drag that was going that was going in there basically as the quad was flying it was the the camera was all the camera was always at the back so i added i added a little fin from the foam and it you worked kinda it's still it's still like this little bits and pieces that I didn't did that, that I didn't like about that. So decided to go with a continuous rotation of a of a 360 degree. So we'll see I will lift it up in the air and I will check how much how much of a speed will make a turn. Basically on a full speed on a full speed like it makes uh, something around like five seconds for a full turn roughly and there's a and on a slow speed like it's whatever whatever crawling so we'll see how that will go i lift it up in the air and check both uh, low speed and full speed so another issue that might be uh, because of a rubber thingy it's the over overshooting so i'll i'll stick on this one just to show you uh you see what the what the rubber that I'm afraid that the video might start going going left to right until overshooting, but you will see that in the test. Uh well the quad is nearly a kilo, so this one is only what was that? Um let me see. Hundred and ninety grams. That was the same as with the with the bolt with the bolt balanced balance at the end. Now it has to be balanced. It absolutely has to be balanced. Otherwise, it will be nearly unflyable. If the camera will be if the camera will be the weight at the front or whatever. Basically, if you're gonna be flying forward, uh, it will be at the front. If you wanna pitch up. When you're gonna pitch up, the camera will go at the back, and that will mess up with the mess up with the controls. I've been there, I tested, I tried that. Like it has to be, it has to be balanced. 
So, uh, not much left to say. Lift it up in the air and have a little test. And we'll see how she does. And if it does good, then we're going to go find some little little trees when I can speed up a bit rather than having a, having a flying on the town. Right, so. Right, so we will do a test about the, about the swinging and overshooting. Here's what I was talking about. Look, I'm just going to tip the camera a bit. You see, that's the, that's the rubber bands that go the overshooting. And we'll see how it's going to take off. So let's try on a low speed and see see what's it like. I'm going to take off. to 1.3 on P which is bloody very very low the bear barely controllable so basically on the roll axis it's kind of good enough let's say this way on the pitch axis is brutal it's shaking like a mad uh, I think that might be due to the because there's a tiny slap appeared in the bearing it wasn't it wasn't like that but the more the more I flew the more I used as a slap so there's so much there's so much slop we have here so that could be the cause right so back to the garage to rebuild the stuff okay